Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this channel I talk about fragrance, skincare, fashion and the finer things in life. And today I have London-based American artist Sarah Baker's Jungle Jezebel in front of me. If you want to know everything about this crazy creation by Miguel Matos, please stay right there. Alright, so why are we talking about Jungle Jezebel? What's happening? So, in my last video, I'm gonna put it up here, we talked about fragrances that I wear that I would like to smell clean and fresh. Today, we are doing 180, opposing everything, and then we are moving on to a fragrance that is so dirty, so sexy, so kinky, so animalic, almost like... Oh, like a very very shitty smelling <laughs> fragrance uh, that is here Sarah Baker Jungle Jezebel so this has a an excellent bottle I'm gonna put the picture up here this is a collector's item I believe they produced uh, 250 of these special bottle and of course the fragrance is inspired by the uh, drag queen 80s drag queen divine so is the bo bottle here which looks great actually so Miguel Matos I think he did something here that I've never smelled in my life before for that hats off Woof. he also created one of the fragrances from uh, Nishani Unutamam I talked about that fragrance before I'm gonna link that video up here for that I said we can forget about that that was really not my cup of tea however this one as much as this is absolutely unbearable this is very intriguing let me spray this on a blotter and on my arm yes i'm gonna do that for you and it's gonna be here for the next 10 hours and it's gonna smell like animal poop <laughs> and dirty sex and like the wet soaky balls and fur however i'm gonna do that let's just go with the blotter first okay and then <laughs> all right Whew. the opening is banana bubble gum pushed to the max Ooh, super sweet super synthetic banana bubble gum Woof. And then immediately I smell civet. That civet note here is out of this world. Oh my god. This has some, I guess, flowers, ylang ylang, tuberos, whatever that is. But can I just be honest? I'm not smelling anything except for sweet bubblegum, sugar, and civet. At the very end of the fragrance, which is after 10 to 12 hours, yes, this is extremely long lasting. This turns into a musky, sweet, sexy scent, which is very enjoyable. But the experience you have until that point is very, very daring, I might say. Opening is okay, but then after 10 to 15 minutes, that civet note, I think this is not the original civet, of course, it is the molecule civetone. So skinky, so animalic. It's like, you know, an animal who has been, uh, that has been exercising, running in the rain. And then after that, you smell that animal. And at the same time, you smell the uh, poop, like the animal poop smell as well. And also think about an underwear that has been worn for like a week or two, very ripe. Combine those two with like a banana bubble gum and imagine that scent and you put it on yourself. Pure sex, pure like a sex club scent, as this is inspired by drag queen, very, very eleganza extravaganza, nothing like you have ever smelled before like Miguel Matos oh my goodness I guess if I'm not mistaken he's he's mistaken who is one of the editors of Fragrantica and I think he's a 
Portuguese perfumer now and he has been working with um, some different brands I think that Sarah Baker what she wanted to do here is it's not like a fragrance that you know is mass crowd pleasing instead they went for something that has an artistic value like as an olfactory experience and actually they achieved that with that bottle as well, that uh, collectible item bottle. However, I was not really brave enough to go for that, commit for that full bottle, because I don't know if I can even finish up these travel size that I have here. This is just so hard, so hard, almost impossible to wear. And trust me, if I say that this smell is very hard and challenging and daring, this is very daring you know it's very hard to disgust me or like make my jaw drop when it comes to scents but this is borderline i'm telling you miguel and sarah oh i think this might be the most animalic smell i've ever experienced i mean of course there are tons of smells i have not experienced and then there is there's always be a mass of fragrances because we can't know everything but this whew, takes our noses to another level and at that level animal kingdom i'm telling you we are just so going to the zoo and at the same time we are going to a very filthy but underground sex club back rooms like wet floors and like the fur smell and oh, that, that like ripe human balls like underwear smell. <sighs> this is one of a kind. It is very long lasting. If you are collectible, if you are in after different olfactory experiences, this is something you have to smell before you close your eyes. Definitely. However, you cannot be wearing this to work or in your daily life. This can never be sprayed on a clothing. It, it is colorful, but forget about the color. It, it, it is mind-blowing on a piece of clothing. It just sits there, and that thing turns into a very filthy, almost like a diaper scent, if I might say. This is like opening up new horizons, I'm telling you. Woohoo! Wow! Let me know if you have tried this fragrance down in the comment section and let's keep the discussion going down there. I am just so curious what you guys think. If you have not already and if you come across this fragrance by any chance, give that a try. Just say, you know, there was a guy on YouTube and then he said this smells like poop. <laughs> let me try that for myself and let me know down in the comment section if you ever do that as well. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Ooh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Take care, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>